welcome back to our general math class. In the last lesson, I mentioned that the inverse of an exponential function is a logarithmic function, although I just showed the conversion of an exponential function to its equivalent form in logarithms. Now, to show you that these two functions are really inverses of each other, we will interchange x and y in the logarithmic equation to express y of f of x in terms of a logarithm. The equation you see is the inverse of y equals 5 to the x. In this lesson, we will talk about such a function, logarithmic functions, as well as logarithmic equations and logarithmic inequalities. A logarithmic function is written in the form f of x equals logarithm of x to the base b, where b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. Examples are f of x equals logarithm of x to the base 2. f of x equals logarithm of 2x plus 1 to the base 3. f of x equals logarithm of x squared plus 3x plus 2 to the base 7 over logarithm of x plus 2 to the base 7. On the other hand, a logarithmic equation is an equation with logarithms. One distinguishable characteristic of a logarithmic equation from a logarithmic function is that it involves one variable only. So examples are negative 10 equals logarithm of x plus 4 to the base 2, logarithm of 2x plus 1 to the base 3 equals 5, Lastly, a logarithmic inequality is an inequality with logarithms. It differs from a logarithmic equation in the sense that instead of equal sign, it has inequality symbols. Examples are 9 is greater than logarithm of x minus 3 to the base 3. Logarithm of negative 3x plus 1 to the base 5 or logarithm of negative 3x to the base 5 plus 1 is not equal to 4. And logarithm of x to the base 2 is less than or equal to logarithm of x minus 7 to the base 2. I hope you can now confidently classify a logarithmic expression as logarithmic function, logarithmic equation, or logarithmic inequality. Until next time!